packed. Ben's suitcase is way lighter than mine. This is mine, it's his. Mm. You show us what you made here. Oh, it does look pretty good actually. How Can't is leave. it? <laughs> On we go. <laughs> oh, part. What's this hike we're going on? See you in 10 hours. So, we see, but we've arrived. Oh. so so pretty we're exhausted because we took an overnight flight and greasy and, and gross so we're gonna try to get into our airbnb early take a nap and then go wander we have to close the wood doors This is really, really cute. Bathroom, living room, look at the windows. The kitchen, coffee, yes. This is really pretty. This is so small and like scares me to use it. I love that all the windows are just so big and open. Gorgeous. evening. You can probably hear quite a bit out our window right now. We went to the Trevi Fountain and then ended up walking like a little ways away and found this really cute restaurant called Le Lanteau, I think, with the lantern and it ended up being really cute. We got pasta, got some Aperol, um, and now it's like 8 30 and we are ready for bed and this hair is ready to be fixed tomorrow. So let's do one. Beautiful so far, perfect temperature, gorgeous. Our Airbnb is great and food was like amazing already. Another person that stays at this Airbnb, so I need to get quieter here and in future ones. Oh my gosh, there's like all this tourist stuff getting set up. Can you see there's like, yeah, this little thing for buying tickets. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Oh, there's so many people with their suitcases. People were up like all hours of last night, it was wild. We tried to go to sleep at like 10 and I fell asleep until probably like 2, which was really good. But then we woke up and we were like, oh, should we get up at like 4 and go see some stuff while it's not very busy? And we were like, we should do that. It is now almost 8 a.m. So we will not be the only people at things. Um, but we don't really have a plan. To be honest, um, we were gonna try to do the like Coliseum while we were here for these days, but it is booked, so we're actually just gonna go like wander. We have that booked for when we come back to Rome at the end of the trip. 
Um, so we're gonna go, I think, wander back to the fountain today, try to get some photos again because we didn't take them with my good camera yesterday. And then we're gonna walk up to the Pantheon, try to get coffee. And just wander around. I wanna shop a little. I wanna just like see what's going on. It's beautiful and it's warm. Um, and we're in like a really nice walkable area. I was thinking about how it feels like we're up really high, and in Emily in Paris, they talk about how in Europe, floor one is like up a floor. Just out wandering, found this art gallery, but we're still kind of not sure what we want to do today. is apparently an old theater, it's sort of old theater, but it's also home to the largest cat colony, is that what you said? Yep. And we have one. He looks like my brother's cat, it's so cute. the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life and I cannot understand how that was built. And also these are the crowds in October. Not quite sure what this is. It's very pretty. <laughs> this little video will just be Bennett places in Rome. It's getting really really hot out but we're trying to find food. Some stuff's open, a lot not because it's almost noon. So we've got a little time, or I think it's 11. had lunch and now we're hunting for sunglasses for Ben because it's getting so hot and bright out. I think we're going to go check out another fountain and then we're doing kind of some more sites just in this area to kind of like wrap it up but everywhere is cool. This is a centuries old walkway. Ooh, and here we go. Got a little bag. I'll show you it later. It's getting really really hot. We're suffering. Okay, we're back kind of near our Airbnb and we're just sitting at this outdoor restaurant because it's like 32. It's really, really hot out. We're suffering a little bit, but it was beautiful this morning. So in theory, this evening will be nice again. But it's very, very hot and there's nowhere that's really like easy. So should be good. We found some shade. We're gonna get some waters and probably a couple of cocktails. And then we, we wanted to get pizza today, but I'm still really full from getting past earlier. So that might be later. I wanna show my little bag. <laughs> I love the colors. The lady in the store kind of roasted me and was like, oh, you like bright things, huh? And I was like, I do. Step count. So far, and what time is it? Two. 1, 2 p.m. Oh my god. Look at this if you have any allergies. I have a list of like so many. Interesting. There's things I haven't even seen on there. And then next to each thing, it's listed. I'd say overall, we're really liking Rome. It's really clean, it's beautiful, 
There was a few places we went today where there was some people doing like little scammy things like trying to hand you stuff that they obviously didn't pay for or trying to like take your photo or take your phone. Um, but not as much as we were kind of told. And it's really easy to like wander around. Our Airbnb is really nice. I think the only thing we're both finding is it's really crowded. And even though it's supposed to be kind of off season, like every tourist thing is still pretty busy. And a lot of stuff doesn't open until a bit later in the day. So like around 11. So when we were out this morning at like nine, a lot of stuff wasn't even open yet. It's Monday also, so some stuff wasn't open. And now it's like, I think I said it's like almost two or it is two, and now it's really hot and stuff's open, so it's kind of tricky just like with the heat. But overall, it's so beautiful, I'm really impressed. Um, so happy we're here, and it doesn't feel, it still feels kind of like surreal and like wild that we actually got here. Um, that and I started dating just before COVID, like a couple months before, so we've never gotten to go international anywhere together. So it's really special and it's really nice, but really hot. Every cocktail we've had here has been really, really good. I decided to try a lemon chalice spritz. Not for me. And I'm a lemon girl, so I'm really surprised. I can't tell that it's like, this is the only one I've tried, so I don't know. And the first time I tried an Aperol spritz, it was my favorite. Do you like them? I don't know. Something I didn't anticipate was all the bugs that have been getting me. So maybe bring bug spray if you come here. Okay, I feel like I need to chat again because we were like out in public. So we went to this little place just down the street. I can show you. <gasps> because there's actually windows. Okay, welcome to Rome. Sorry, this is like so disjointed. We were just down there. Okay, now it's not looking right, but we were just like in this area. There's a bar right here that I keep wanting to try. And we didn't try that one. We went a little down the street and it was pretty good, but it was really hard to like get the server's attention. So we were there a really long time for just a couple of drinks and I got so many bug bites. I don't know. There's like, there's a bunch of them. Um, ben randomly brought bug spray apparently. So I'm gonna try that tonight. There was a lot of signs up in the airport about mosquitoes here. Um, I don't think that's what was biting me though. I think they were little ants actually, but I think I'm gonna put on a little bug spray <laughs> when we go back out. That makes me feel really like not cool, but whatever. Anyway, we're having the best time. Honestly, like the heat kind of got to us a little bit. So we're taking a little break. What time is it? Three? Yeah, it's about three. So we both feel like we need just a little break, but like, honestly, like just, I don't know, just like being here is so cool. It just is so cool. We've just never gotten to do something like this together. I'm sorry if there's background noise, but that's, that's just the vibe. Um, we've just never gotten to do something like this. And we've been to Toronto together. We've been to Vancouver, uh, Revelstoke, Kelowna, like things within Canada, but we never got to travel. And then there was like a huge, long, super long delay with like getting his passport so we were going to do like a vegas trip at one point we didn't get to do that so it just feels like i don't know it just feels so special that we're here it feels so nice to to feel like yourself when you're traveling i don't know if that makes sense but like we obviously live together and a lot of the time when i have traveled it's like with my parents or on my own and I feel like when I'm traveling, I'm usually kind of like anxious and scared and I get really into it. I love to travel, it's beautiful, but I do feel like it's like not, I haven't done it like as much as I want, even though I've seen a lot, it's not like as often as I'd like. So sometimes it can just feel like it can be really overwhelming. Um, and just having, just, I don't know, it's just being us, it's just really nice. So we're having a lovely time. I just bought a little dry shampoo and I feel like that helped me out. A look at that. It's like a volume one. <laughs> that looks pretty good. The bangs look better. We also picked up those little like Aven like um, water sprays. Cause I was like, Ben, you love this stuff. Like you're really hot. Like it's gonna be great for you. It's 32 degrees today. So we've been sweating 
walking around. We're back at our Airbnb now. There's a couple of people here. We haven't met them. Um, it seems like they're working. So we're just like leaving that. But it's just nice. Uh, I hope you guys, if you're thinking of going to Rome, the thing that concerned me was people were saying it was really like just a lot of scams. Some people said it was really busy. Um, some obviously it's been really hot. Um, and I've heard other people say like they loved it so much. Most people have told me they loved it. So I feel like I get that now. Like it's super clean. It's super friendly. People are really accommodating of our like really broken Italian. We're trying our best. The Airbnb we're at, unbelievably beautiful. Um, the weather's perfect. I mean, we're also here, it's early October. It's still so hot, but it's gorgeous. Uh, I think if I'd been here in the summer, it might've been a bit much. And the vibe is good. People are out and about. People are out late. We're, we're about to try to take a little nap or just like a rest that we can like go back out. Um, Cause we feel like we were burning out. And everywhere you walk, there's something good. Like there's just beautiful things everywhere. We went into like a church that's like not even on the map. Um, and it was the most beautiful thing like we'd ever seen. So it's just like, you can't go too wrong. You know, that was kind of what I was worried about. It was like, did we know where to go? Do we have the right places? Nope, it's all good. The Pantheon blew my mind. I'm still thinking about like, how did they possibly build that? And a tip, if you are coming here, apparently if you come right at noon, the sun goes straight through the circle and they've made it so that the sun becomes like a whole sunbeam inside. I'll keep showing you more. And after this, I'm gonna do vlogs in Naples and in Venice. So there's gonna be so much more coming and I'm just so excited. Okay, and get this, we were just, okay, the height's gonna freak me out. We are just down there and there's a ballet store right below our Airbnb. Here's a third from our Airbnb. Sitting in this plant that we're both allergic to. <laughs> We had the nicest evening. We walked out of the Coliseum. And then this Uber we're staying, or this Airbnb we're staying at has some like locals living here and they recommended a pizzeria. So we went to that and tried Roman pizza. I think I'm gonna be more of a Napoli girl, but it was still really good and really affordable. Like a pizza was like five, six euros there. Very thin crust cheese, but like not like blobs of cheese like Napoli. Then we went to this little library named Cocktail Bar. And now we're honestly back home just chilling, having a little phone time, <laughs> and getting ready to completely get sleep. Good morning, it's Tuesday. We are just getting ready. This is a little top I'm gonna wear. And I'm not actually gonna wear this, but I was gonna show you that I bought this yesterday, and it's the cutest thing. And I also got, which I think I might wear. A like bracelet version. So cute. They're made of aluminum, I guess. And then I got a little like fish. And they were so well priced. So that's why I got a bunch of things. It's all so loud. Anyway, we didn't sleep at all last night, so it's almost 11 and we're just getting ready to head out. We're gonna go look at, hopefully, the aqueduct system under the Trevi Fountain because it was closed until today. And then we're gonna go try to find it. kebabs. This is the fit. <laughs> uh, my little bracelet. And I feel like it's cute, but then I'm gonna put this on and ruin the look. I just did little half curls in my hair today. I feel like it worked pretty good. I bought some dry shampoo. Oh yeah, that really adds to it. And there we go. 
some cake. I'm gonna go get a cappuccino, get a pastry, and then walk over for her third time to the Trevi Fountain to try to do this underground tour and then go wander somewhere new. It's at the Fountain of Florida time on the trip so far because the first night it was pretty dark so our photos didn't work. Then we came by yesterday and it was like not full of water so they were cleaning it. And so today we came back to do the tour which we realized we needed to pre-book so now we're just waiting because we have to wait half an hour. Uh, but we finally got good photos and we actually finally got a sit on it and do the whole point. point so that was cute. So if you want to go to this underground thing, the Trevi's that way. You walk up this alley and down here, and then it's right down here. And if you're like us and you didn't pre-book, there's a little WhatsApp number out front. We're using the Air Allo eSIMs, and it's been, it was a little tricky to set up. It took a little while to activate, but it's working well now. Um, so you can just make a call through WhatsApp and we just put our name on the list. Hopefully that will work and we get to go see all the aqueducts that are like running the fountain. Genius. We just found a really good like shawarma kebab place and then we went to this little cafe. Then we went to this cafe and got a really good Greek salad and espresso. Now we're gonna head home and think, have a little nap because we have reservations later for an Alfredo place. Shall we get a Vespa? Imagine without the bag. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're heading to a dinner place, which is where Alfredo comes from, I guess. That's the fit. A lot cuter without the bag, but whatever. Trading. Just have fine pina colada at this place. <laughs> ben had a good margarita. We've never seen someone so disappointed in someone's order. <laughs> Okay, we've turned up here and we do have a reservation. We still have to wait in a massive line, so maybe go early. Just wrapping up in Rome. Um, so you will see me here again in about a week and hopefully I will be a lot more awake because I'm so tired. Uh, but we're just gonna like pack everything up. We're heading to the train, heading to Naples. That'll be in the next vlog. But yeah, I guess I won't end this one yet, but you'll see me in about a week. Hey, we're back in Rome. No time's passed for you, but it's been a lot of time for me. We have the cutest room. Okay, let me show you. Do so you go into this like, I guess it's like sweets, and then this one's ours. Got a little shelf and a desk, bed, 
window and then look how cool giant like jacuzzi tv and then look at this bathroom this is definitely the nicest place we've stayed and i feel like this one was like really reasonably priced too so i'll try to link it if i can isn't that great the point five Okay, and this is the view, this freaks me out, as you can see. Gorgeous. We're in a different area from where we were before. But I don't think I could tell you where we are. I need to look at the map. Look at these ceilings. This is really cool. This is really nice to like end the trip with. I don't know about all this. <laughs> It's a cool idea, um, but jacuzzis are kind of gross. Anyway, we're gonna go try to find some food. I haven't eaten, I feel like I had like, oh, we had breakfast, right, in Venice. You'll get that vlog, so it's kind of funny. So since I was last here, we've been to Naples, the Amalfi Coast, um, Pompeii, and then we went to Venice. So there's two more vlogs coming with all of that good stuff, but, this morning we were in Venice, that's where we just traveled in from. And now we're back here for a couple days. And then we head out, and tomorrow we're gonna go do the Colosseum. So that'll be kind of the end of this Rome vlog. And then I'll be putting up the next ones, hopefully like relatively quickly. But when I am back in Canada working on these, I'm also going to be obviously getting back into work and freelance. So hopefully I'll get them up as quick as possible. But they're all super fun. I'm really excited for the Amalfi Coast one. The Venice one, if you've never been, it actually was a lot of what I expected, but way bigger than I expected. So I'm really excited to share that one because that one, I don't think there's that much chat in that one, but it's a little more just like showing you around, really beautiful. And the one in Naples is like three places we went to because we were staying in Naples and we did day trips. Um, so that's all in that one. And it'll explain how we did it. If you want anything linked that I'm sharing in any of these videos, please just leave a comment. I'm happy to link Airbnbs, tours we did, anything in case I've forgotten. Um, but I'm also not gonna like bombard y'all with stuff you don't need. So just let me know if there's anything I missed. But yeah, it's good. I'm definitely a little like burnt out of traveling, eating out all the time, um, and just like missing my little routine a bit so i'm happy we have a little bit more time here we both did really like rome but i am ready to get back as well and get back to just like my little calgary life and ballet and stuff but uh not quite yet i'm glad we have a few more days and yeah it's just been a wonderful time and having a nice room at the end is like perfect another Interesting and beautiful elevator. This is where we are. Outfit. The cool thing about wandering in Rome is you'll be like eating your dinner and then you'll go for a little walk and you just see like the coolest, oldest ruins everywhere. It's probably one of the coolest cities I've ever seen. Venice was very unique, but this is very like historic and beautiful. Our morning here in Rome. Today we're going to the Colosseum. It looks like it's going to be 30 degrees, so I'm just going with the old trusty. I'm gonna actually make a video of like the clothing that was actually useful on this trip um, to maybe give some tips. And otherwise, I think we're gonna have a coffee and then head over there in an hour or so. That's gonna be very hot, so. So we were quite excited about this room. But this bed is like broken, so when you lay in it, it sinks. So we had to put it on the floor last night. And this doesn't close. Like it closes over, but it doesn't close. So it's super loud. 
So I was going to be dropping like the link to this Airbnb. I'm not going to because I just don't recommend it. If you do really want to check it out, it is cute, but let me know and I'll send it directly. So message me on Instagram, but um, I don't recommend even though location's perfect, it's beautiful. It was just like the worst sleep. Day two of giving up on Italian food. That looks good. Today we're going into this. And I don't know if we're going over there. I'm so ready to get back home to my like normal situation. It's a flop here, y'all. I don't know what the rest is. Posing. <laughs> Star. Um, the Coliseum tour was pretty good. I'd say if we'd done that first, I don't know if I would have wanted to do like that many more tours. Cause it was just a solid like, okay, our tour guide, she's lovely, but she would just kind of like drop us off and be like, okay, go take some pictures. And then she'd like explain it after. I'm also sorry if this is so loud. Tis the city. Anyway. So it was pretty good, but like we went and saw a Coliseum. She just kind of let us walk around, not too much to it. And then she took us to the forum and again, just kind of let us like walk around. So it was pretty good, cool to see. It was so hot um, and I didn't feel very good after. We went and sat down and like, we accidentally like kind of walked the wrong way. Cause I was like, let's try that way. And we like went up this hill and through this park and like whatever. And then we backtracked to that bar called Bar Monty. I'd really recommend that, that was really good. Maybe not the most like pasta pizza kind of place, but they had salads, really good cocktails. Uh, the bruschetta was good. Hey, I said it right. <laughs> Everyone's telling us it's not bruschetta. Um, and that was nice. I feel like I just chugged a lot of water and I'm feeling a bit better, but Ben's left. He's going to go head to a pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> see, to try to find us some more of the event mask. You can definitely buy that brand in Canada. We looked up the pricing and it does look like it's like a little bit cheaper here with the conversion. Um, so he's gonna pick up, I think, one of those because that's been saving both of our skin. Um, usually I break out really bad when I travel and have new water. Ugh, I got like one up here. I do have a bit of makeup on, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. But anyway, that's pretty much wrapping our like touristy time here in Italy. We both agree that we feel like it was really satisfying the trip. We did everything we wanted to do. It doesn't feel like we're leaving anything out. The window just tried to break on me. I think I see my bed and kept it open. Anyway, we feel like we didn't leave anything on the table. We saw everything we wanted to see. We spent money to do the gondola, to do the tours, to the coast, um, to see all the cities. We ate out all the time. Um, we had a few chill moments, not as many as we thought, and the places we stayed at were all pretty good except for this fucking bed. <laughs> so not looking forward to it. So anyway, we're feeling ready to go, which is a really nice feeling after such a wonderful trip to feel like it was satisfying. For you watching, you're going to see two more vlogs from Italy from me, the City of the Rome one, then you're gonna see the Naples one where I go to the coast, and then you're going to see Venice, and that one's really special too. It's just such a beautiful, interesting city. So make sure you subscribe for those. But otherwise, I'll take you around for like our last evening and probably to the train tomorrow. 
And then I'm planning when I get home to film a little like haul video, just like things I bought and some tips on just like clothes and packing and like what was actually useful while I was here. Um, apparently it's a heat wave and it's not normally 30 degrees here in October. So all the Italians are also like telling us that that's like not the case. So it was hotter than we expected and we rolled with it and did the best, but very hot. So anyway, lots more videos to come. That being said, we're gonna enjoy our last evening. Just, there's like one leather bag I'm peeking. We'll see. But yeah, very satisfying trip, ready to go home. Not ready to work yet. When I get home, I have three more days off, uh, which will be very needed. Trying to find some food. Ben's trying to scare me. Oh my gosh, look at that dog. Anyway, we walked all around, back to the area we stayed in before, walked around Trevi again. Now we're back over to this area, looking for, I don't quite know what we want still, but something a little more chill. Um, and it's lovely out, perfect temperature. The last feast. I want to see the inside. Yeah. We're gonna attempt a second dinner here. <laughs> The first place was not bad, but the reviews were a little iffy, but it ended up being really good. Ben is eating his money. I am shopping with my money. We'll suede bag. <laughs> Both delirious. It's gone for dinner number two tonight. Hey, that looks good. Wait in room. <laughs> Wait, say it. Wait in room. <laughs> That's that. Just wrap on Rome. I kind of want to have a swim, so I might go in. Oh, that's a good look. All right, it's Thursday and we're ready to head out. We are just finishing packing up. Um, sorry, it's so noisy here always, so hopefully this footage is usable. We had an amazing vacation. We're heading to the airport now for a ten and a half hour flight. I'm trying to keep the skin super bare. You can see that I'm breaking out a little bit. That's okay, we'll get back to my routine when we get home. I also have a chemical deal, deal booked in a couple weeks. Feel off all of what I've done here. Uh, but yeah, we've got 10 and a half hour flight, so I'm a little nervous about that. I meant to bring compression socks because I get really bad knee pain. Um, I have these like high Aritzia socks, and because I just have bigger calves, they're pretty tight on me, so I'm hoping they work. But I am nervous about the flight. They put us both in middle seats, not together. It's so annoying. Like, we were looking at buying seats, but even like a week ago, there was no windows or anything left, so I was like, what's the point? Um, so whatever, we just won't be together. And we'll both be in the middle, and so I know on the way here I had a lot of trouble with my legs, so wish me luck. I also let my hair air dry. So I'm gonna be rolling up onto the plane with like dirty <laughs> travel clothes, my hair like this. Everyone here is dressed so fancy, um, and that's all right. I think back home it's actually kind of warm still, so we might be okay getting away with like and not too much of a shock with weather, but I am looking forward to it being cooler. Uh, and for me, this is kind of like the end of the trip, but for you, there's two more videos coming out. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe to be notified when those go up. Um, and you can also follow my Instagram, it's at Mosey Lifestyle. Don't ask, I can't secure my own name anymore. But if you go over there, I also usually post when videos are going up. And these ones, I'm gonna try to get them up as quick as possible so it's timely, but I am going back after two weeks off work and so things are gonna be a little nutty back there. But yeah, I'm sad to go, but it was an amazing trip. I feel ready to go home. If there wasn't for the plane, I feel all good. I'm gonna finish packing and I'll check in with y'all. I'll get some clips of us just like heading out. But I think that's it for this one. Well, I'll see you probably in a couple of days. And Italy, who knows? Maybe I'll be back soon. Maybe I won't be back for years. I feel like I did everything I needed to do. So I'm leaving very, very satisfied with our trip. Okay, let's get to the airport. Let's get on this flight. And last peek at the view. 
So the Colosseum is actually like right back there. This is a really good spot. It's just like they need to get a new bed and we would be perfect. Here's where that spot was. Cuter. Gotta take a little train to our platform.